Hey everybody, Seth here again. So a little while ago you guys all saw me install a big aluminum light bar with a bunch of LED trailer lights on my cargo rack uh, to provide brake lights and blinkers because uh, the tire I was running on that cargo rack would cover up my third brake light. And while it's been working fantastic, no issues whatsoever, I'm starting to think it's a little bit overkill. And honestly I keep looking at it and I'm like, okay that thing's really beefy. I don't need something that big. I really like how bright it is. I really like you know, the functionality of it, but I wanted something a little smaller with also with, you know, a little bit stealthier, but you know, really cool, good light output, but not quite so glaringly huge. So I was thinking about it and I was thinking I had a few solutions in mind, but the one I uh, decided to go with involves using these. These are KC Cyclones. Um, they can be used for all sorts of applications. A lot of people use them as rock lights. They'll stick them in their fender well and uh, they'll get some light uh, splayed on the ground around the truck so you can see, you know, rocks are crawling over, pits you're going to might fall into, uh, you know, all sorts of obstacles when you're crawling at night. Um, they can be used as dome lights, you know, in your cab. But I am going to use them. I had these because I was going to use them as running lights for my other truck, um, which by the way, is getting sold. Uh, but I was going to use them as running lights. Never ended up doing it, so they've just been sitting around. I was like, you know what? These would be great blinkers. And if I order another set of red ones, right here, they'll be great brake lights. So what we're going to do today is I ordered this little piece of steel. I believe it's two and a half inch by eighth inch steel. And it's like about a foot long. I think it's a foot. And I ordered it off McMaster. Um, you know, my favorite site of all time. If it's not on McMaster, it doesn't exist. So basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to make a couple little plates to mount these lights to. And if you can see, these things are designed really cool. Uh, they've got a hole right in the middle, and you can, these, they've got, you know, like a aluminum housing, so these things are really tough, and you can stick a bolt right through the middle with a washer and just mount them right on something. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, I just got these brake lights. Let's unbox these real quick. Nice red. Um, so on each side, there's going to be a brake light on the outside and a blinker on a little further inside. But these will be mounted towards the outsides of the cargo rack. So without further ado, let's drop some brackets. Okay, so first things first, let's measure out what these plates are going to look like. I believe five and a half inches for each plate will be sufficient. Then I'm going to find the center of it. I believe this is two and a half inches thick, or wide, sorry. Yep, two and a half inches. So, halfway is 1.25 inches. Then I'm going to mount the lights one and a half inches from each edge. I think that'll look pretty good. I'm going to make up another and uh, then we're going to go cut. at some point. It's not getting thrown away. This thing is way too cool. However, for right now, let's get these cyclones on. Here's the plates all mounted up and uh, with the lights mocked up on there. They look awesome. 
the other side. The red one isn't totally tightened down yet because uh, there was some gunk on this, the bolt. I'm using an old bolt, so I gotta clean that off. Couldn't quite hand tighten it, but that is exactly what I'm going for. Much stealthier look, and hopefully it's gonna give me a ton of light, but we'll see. I'm gonna paint these up and then we'll start soldering the lights in. Well, they're all painted up, and man, they look great. Came out really well. Let's mount these lights. Here are the KC Cyclones all mounted up, and man, do these things look good. Such a cool light design. Mounted up perfectly. Those mounting plates are really solid. Um, let's get them wired up so we can see these things lit. So those cyclones worked out perfectly and I'm extremely happy with the result. As you can see they're really stealthy yet they provide a lot of light and they look really cool. It's just a really cool light design so bravo KC you did a great job with that product. Um, but I wanted to end this video uh, not dealing with the lights. I wanted to show you guys something different that I've been working on that's really exciting. It's an awesome opportunity that's kind of fallen into my lap and uh, I'm going to take full advantage of it. So basically I want to overland the Tacoma a lot more, take it on a lot more trails, um, really, you know, explore the, explore this great country and, uh, you know, try to find some adventures somewhere. I think that truck's more than capable and I'm really excited to do it. However, to do that, you need, you know, a little more armor, um, you know, a little more equipment and all that stuff's expensive. Uh, but however, uh, the pickup, the Toyota pickup, um, I was attempting to sell that because I do not have time to really finish it, unfortunately. Sorry to all of you who are looking forward to that. just don't have time. And uh, I found a guy who wants to trade for a Subaru Legacy 2002 that I'm going to use as a winter beater. So that was good. Um, however, I found out that he also does fabrication work. And really good fabrication work. He's made a bunch of custom bumpers, uh, roll cages just tube armor, all sorts of stuff, and he showed me pictures, and they look really good. I can tell the guy's really talented. And I asked him, I was like, hey, could I design a rear swing-out bumper, and uh, maybe if I gave you this whole brand new solid axle swap kit from Trail Gear, uh, you could build me a bumper, and we'll call it even. And he said, absolutely. So, uh, I've been designing a swing-out bumper. I'm a, you know, design engineer uh, through education, and, you know, couple jobs now in design engineering. So uh, I know my way around CAD decently. And I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek. So here's a simple uh, rendition of what I'm thinking. I'm going to add a few more angled pieces and make this thing look a little more uh, unique. But so far this is what I'm thinking. Uh, the swing out's built out of um, 1.5 inch square tubing uh, with a 2 inch square tube base. I'm going to run a pretty thick plate here so I can mount uh, extra gas, uh, Rotopax containers. Got a couple D shackle mounts. I'm gonna have some cutouts here for some lights, um, and then I'm gonna probably have a few pieces connecting here, maybe a few more cool angles. Cause I actually showed this guy uh, who's building this this design, just trying to be a little conservative, and he said, "Oh man, I thought it would be more complicated." So basically, that's the green light to really go crazy on this thing. But I'm really excited because who doesn't love a custom bumper? Anyway, everybody, uh, I'll have a new video out, uh, new video out shortly. 
this bumper project actually should start pretty soon. He seemed really eager, so hopefully within the next couple weeks we're gonna I'm gonna get over there and get a little more accurate, you know, body fitting measurements so we can fit that bumper right up and he's gonna build this thing up and I think it's gonna look really cool. And it's gonna be no, like nothing else out there, you know, it's gonna be one off piece. And who knows, if people like it, maybe we'll go into business. But that's way down the road. Let's get one built first, right? Uh, please like, uh, comment, tell me what you think about the bumper, tell me what you think about the lights. What would you like to see on a swing out bumper? I'm looking for suggestions, you know? Um, uh, please subscribe to my Instagram. Here's my Instagram handle. Uh, please subscribe. Stay tuned, new video coming soon, and have a great night.